So this is my bike that I took on my bike tour before. And I didn't really have good bags. I used some, some from REI first. And then I just used the Z-Pack food bag. I want to make my own. And I thought I'd make a frame bag that goes right here. Just with using stuff that I have here. See how it turns out. I wanted to be able to donate this water bottle. So I guess it can only go from here down to there. I have this stuff that we make pack covers with. I'll use that even though it's kind of thin. And then I'll probably do this on the inside so it's lighter. We don't have that much stuff that's not felt. It's why it'll this. Do we have Velcro? So Velcro, I only have like one inch. The zipper. So I know I'm gonna have to attach the zipper. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. But I think I can do that after it's sewn together. If it doesn't work out, then that's fine. This um, grip stop is definitely too thin. It'll work out quickly. Face that way, but on the underside. Probably should have cut this hole bigger and made more room for the side of the zipper because this side's gonna be shorter now a little gap there and I don't know if I have enough room to sew the top on. It'll be tight. A little white there. I've reinforced the part that'll be near the pedal in case my feet hit it. In order to add the velcro, I know that I need to have like a strip in between so that it's not touching the bars. But I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna do. Th these two sides are kind of different sizes now because of the zipper. It'll work, I think. So before I learned the hard way that when you're making a bag, you have to sew it inside out when you put it together. Otherwise you'll have the seams on the outside. I'm gonna try not to do that with this one. That. Figuring out which way to put the Velcro so that it'll actually wrap around the bar. Kind of like looking in the mirror to try to cut the hair behind your ears. Or I don't know, I'm just gonna go for it. Hope it works. I think it's this way. Missed the spot here. Let's go see if it works on the bike. Not bad. It uh, turned out better than I thought it would. I should have put a Velcro down on this side as well, but it should be fine. I've got to sew back up this hole, and I missed a piece right there. And then trim down these white things. Maybe dye them black. Nice. I also want to make one for back here, but I'll do that later. It's kind of funny looking. I feel like that won't be too wide. Maybe it is. I want to start making like a bunch of gear. I want to make a quilt. The one that I have is kind of nasty and I want a synthetic one for like when it rains. This summer, I cowboy camped a lot and got a lot of dew on my sleeping bag. And I'd rather just not have to deal with that. Also synthetic. I don't have to like fluff it every night like my down one, which I don't like doing. Mostly because I'm lazy. But yeah, that was interesting to make. It actually turned out way better than I thought it would. Is this gonna work? I don't know if this dye's gonna work on this. Wow, that's... How to make a bike packing bag for zero dollars. Also, I um, got a new camera for my normal videos. This is a Panasonic G7. John Z used the G6 on the Great Divide Trail and I really liked his setup. I also like how you can get tons and tons of lenses for these things. So yeah, I bought one. The body was only $500. It can shoot 4K and 60 frames a second for slow motion in 1080p, which I think is awesome. This is the camera I carried or stills on the GDT. If you're looking for a camera for hiking, definitely look at Fuji. If you're not trying to vlog, if you're just trying to take stills, Fuji is way better than Sony. And I'm gonna be selling this guy, or I am selling him. It's just such a pain. Whenever I wanna film something, this thing weighs like five pounds. It's really nice, but for video, 
it's just okay. And every time I film something, I have to use a monitor to be able to make sure I'm in focus. It's just a pain. So if I want to go out and make videos, this is all that I need with a mic and a flip out screen. That's all I need. Also, I have a couple lenses for it already. If I make a quilt, are you guys interested in seeing a video of that? I don't know if videos like this are super boring or what, but um, yeah, let me know. Now I gotta clean up all the messes all around the house that I made.